Hi Scorpio, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. This is your February 2016 general monthly forecast, okay? So it's very interesting, Scorpio, because we know that February is the month of love. It's Valentine's Day on February the 14th. I'm not doing, these general readings are just general readings, so they're not geared towards love. Some situations in the readings might pertain to your love life. It looks like this one might do. To some degree uh but i am going to be doing love readings anyway for all of the 12 signs to cover the next three months going from march through to well going maybe from february straight march through to through to may june time okay so i'm just sort of sorting those out at the moment there's a lot to do on the channel at the minute uh, as well as the personal readings that i do but if you bear with me guys everything will be up all right so Scorpio, also, if you want a private reading with me, all the details are below. Uh, interesting month for you, Scorpio. We have the Ace of Cups showing as your advice stroke information card. It's interesting that this card shows because it is the month of love, as I said. And the Ace of Cups is a card uh, that is very much rooted in uh, a new desire new love uh it's but it's a seed of something it's something that's building slowly it's something that's not quite there yet but it's it's just kind of on the precipice of starting to grow it's the bud it's the seed it's starting to open up so there is something pertaining to and it doesn't always have to mean love it can mean something that you love it can mean the start of new creative ideas for example because the cups are often rooted in not just emotion but in creativity this is why you often see people who are water signs who are very much creative so they're artists they're poets they're writers uh just like the ones in a way um but they're much more romantic, I find, in the way that they might deliver us things or the way that they might think about things. They're very dreamy a lot of the time, water signs are, because they're heavily rooted in emotion. So for me, during the month of February, there is definitely something new that is starting up for you guys, okay? It could be the dawn of a new realisation as well for you guys, okay? As in the Ace of Cups, it could be literally getting to know who you are as an individual which the ace of cups as far as i'm concerned can sometimes uh reveal it can be literally kind of having a you know getting to know yourself loving yourself self-love all of that type of thing but looking at this reading you know i feel potentially it could be self-love potentially it could be uh new love coming in uh, a new start a fresh start with something it could be a new job it could be anything that you want it to be but it will be something that you'll be grateful for scorpio and it'll be something that you'll be very very happy about uh pardon the banging next door they're doing work on the next door neighbor's house um and they always seem to do it when i'm working for some reason so it's quite annoying but there you go um your general energy is showing up as the king of swords and the two of wands so I feel here when I look at these two cards, they kind of um, they kind of make me feel that this is kind of the same thing because the King of Swords and the Two of Wands kind of have the same kind of uh, idea behind them. The idea of uh, trying to make a decision and trying to make something that is fair, that is balanced and that benefits you as a whole. The King of Swords is the type of guy who, uh, you know, he does have a heart. There is no water on this card at all because he's swords. He's all about the air. He's all about the thinking, the communication, the logic. Okay. He's all about the pros and cons. He weighs up pros and cons. He always weighs up the yeses and the noes and the positive side and the negative sides of the situation. He does have a heart, but he won't let his heart rule him. This is the thing with the King of Swords. He will never let what he feels inside govern a decision that he makes. This is why they make good lawyers, King of Swords. They are... Um, uh, very kind of a uh, logical and realistic and uh, to, to a certain extent practical because uh, whatever they're weighing up whatever they're trying to make a decision on from a head level is very much rooted in how practical or how um, how logical a situation could be how does it fit in how does it mix together how does it how do all the jigsaw puzzles fit in? How does it benefit them? How will it benefit something else? Do you see where I'm coming from? So this is your King of Swords character. It's not that he's ruthless even. I mean, the, the swords do a lot of the time get a bad rap, but I feel that uh, they get a bad rap because they come across as quite steely, especially that Queen of Swords. She can be a bit of a bitch. I've met a few Queen of Swords in my time and they're not very nice a lot of the time. They are fair people. They can be very fair. Definitely Queen of Swords, but 
from the ones that I've met a lot of the time, not particularly nice individuals. Uh, but that's another story. I'm not saying all Queen of Swords are like that because she's apparently a very fair individual. But going back to the King of Swords, he's very fair. He's very balanced. Um, but being the general energy, to me, this is a, a decision that was made or a decision that has been made. But for some reason, with that two of wands, this is either having to take action on a decision that's been made or this could be revisiting a decision that was made. Because if you look at two, the two cards together, this man looks like he's trekking back to the King of Swords. It's almost like he's forgotten something and he needs to go back and question something. He needs to go back and question a decision that was made. He wants an answer. So it's almost like the guy on the Two of Wands wants an answer from the King of Swords. Okay, he's looking at a decision. He's looking at something that has been finalised. And he's kind of thinking to himself, okay, there's a decision that was made, but I'm still not sure of this. This is why you have these two ones there. It's the conflicting energies of do I go straight ahead for something or do I sit and do I wait or do I go in this direction or that direction? So to me, those two cards signify something that needs to be questioned and needs to be asked. And potentially for some of you Scorpios, you could be questioning a situation in February to do with your love life. Maybe that's why we've got the Ace of Cups there. And I feel that you are questioning something here. I, I really do feel that you are. I feel potentially it could be that uh, there is someone in your life or someone is going to appear in your life and you are going to kind of be questioning whether you are going to take this person up on an offer personally. Because you somebody's revisiting something here with the King of Swords. Somebody's gone back to question a decision that's been made or to question a decision that is in the process of being made. You look at the King of Swords here, he's resolute. He's holding up his sword and he's kind of like, that's it. Yes, I've made my decision and that's final. But the guy in the Two of Wands, he needs to take action on that decision. So he's going back and he's looking at the King of Wands and he's wanting to reassess and re-ask re a question. This is what I'm getting from those two cards. And it's all to do with love. It's got to be to do with love. The majority of this reading is to do with love. In the first position, we have the King of Cups. This is a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian person. Could be you because you are cups. We have a lot of cups here, but it doesn't have to be. Can be it doesn't even have to be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces person. King of Cups in his uh, archetype is a very caring, very loving, very sweet-natured man. He's very compassionate, okay? He wants to do the best. He'll always put somebody before himself. This is why he sits on the throne that has waves crashing about him and he never shows that it's uncomfortable for him he's just weathering the storm he weathers stuff because he's kind of like a martyr to the cause a lot of the time the king of cups is okay he'll put his emotions on the back burner he'll sacrifice what he feels uh he'll sacrifice his own needs i feel a lot of the time for somebody else's okay but this king of cups here i feel is a nice man and I feel that we've got okay a situation where somebody's coming into some of your, your your lives. I feel that this will be a nice person. I feel that this will be a person who has good intentions. It could be somebody from your past. Because looking at that King of Swords and the Two of Wands, this could be someone who made a decision in the past, but now is revisiting that decision that they made with the Two of Wands. So they're going back to take a second look at what they decided. It's almost like with this Two of Wands, this person went away potentially and now they're walking back to the king of wands the king of wands i don't feel is so much a person the king of wands i'm sorry the king of swords sorry i don't feel is so much a person i feel the king of swords in the general energy represents just that an energy okay so it represents a decision something that happened and this two of wands bloke here is walking back to revisit that so he went away i feel but now he's walking back just to check something out just to take another look at what he decided on in the past and it could be that this king of cups does that he comes back this is what i'm feeling for some of you it could be the past i'm not saying it is because we don't have judgment and we don't have the six of cups but we don't really need them because sometimes you just got to look at positioning of cards to know whether someone's coming back from the past or not simple as that but whenever i've seen this two of wands directly facing something it's almost like they're turning their back on something and I just want to try something out, actually. I just want to put a third card. I want to see why he's turned his back on. Universe Spirit, what did this guy turn his back on in the Two of Wands? What's he turned his back on? I want to see if he gives me an answer. It might not. I've not tried this before. I just want to see if he's turned his back on something. 
because he's obviously revisiting a decision that was made. Oh, that's weird. Three of Wands flipped out. So I'm going to put that behind. It's almost like this person has taken a long journey to come back. It's weird. Because the Three of Wands, if you look at this, guys. If you look at that Three of Wands bloke there. He's looking out to the distance. He looks like he's kind of waving uh, a boat off. Like he's just got off a ship. He's just got off a mode of transport. And then you've got the Two of Wands there. Right, he's got off the transport. And now he's on foot walking back. And there we are. The King of Swords. He's walking back to the King of Swords. He's revisited. This This almost feels like uh, somebody who's travelled back or they've been out of your life potentially for some time. Maybe Scorpio. So I'm feeling that maybe somebody has been out of your life for quite some time and they're walking back. They're coming back now to revisit a decision that they made in the past about you potentially. And I feel it might be this King of Cups bloke here. Somebody comes back into your life or somebody comes into your life in in, 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 in February. Now, I feel that um, for some of you guys, you're having a hard time. Are you going to be having a hard time accepting a proposal? Because I feel that if this person is from the past, then they might have done something and they've not been around for a while. Then they might have done something in the past that pissed you off or that upset you. Because we have the Four of Cups as the next card. The Four of Cups in a future position, Scorpio, simply means that you uh, have kind of learned from past mistakes. So you're reluctant to make any more mistakes on something. Okay, that's what it means. It means that you, when this card is in a future position, it means that you're in far more of a... Uh, you're, you're, you're more in control than you would have been if this would have been in the past. The Four of Cups in the past means that you would have missed out on, off an opportunity or you bypassed an opportunity to receive something because the ace of cups with this if you look at this we've got the ace of cups is your information card stroke advice card and we've got the ace of cups being offered to this guy in the four of cups but he's choosing not to look at it so it's obvious that an offer is being made to you in february okay there's new love i believe and the ace of cups is always new love coming in the majority of the time so i feel that new love is being offered to you from a man from a man or a woman it doesn't matter because the king of cups can be male or female in a general reading so I feel that new love is being offered to you or an opportunity is being offered to you, but you are tentative to take it. You're kind of uh, a little bit cautious. And the four of cups is often a card of being cautious. All right. Because when it's in a future position, you're cautious because you've learned from something in the past. So you're less kind of, uh, you're less kind of, what's the word? You're not so quick to take an offer up because you're thinking logically now and you're thinking more about what potentially happened. OK, it's interesting that this guy, this boy here is focused on three cups. He's not looking at the new love. He's only focused on the three cups. OK, so he's focused on something from the past. He's focused on some form of friendship from the past, something that is still alive, though. It's funny because when we look at the five of cups, the three cups are falling over. There's spilt milk. There's no redemption. There's no redeeming. You can't put drink, especially when it's spilled all over the floor. You can't scoop it back up into a cup. That cup remains unfulfilled. It remains empty. So the joy has gone out of something. But the joy is still here within the four of cups. OK, so which means to me that this guy, this boy is still contemplating something about this relationship here. To me, the Three of Cups, they call it the Four of Cups because it's four cups, which means the Three Cups are a part of that fourth one. All right. So there's love being offered. And to me, this can suggest that this person here, this boy here, who is looking at the Three Cups or his head is in the direction of the Three Cups, knows about this, this one cup that's being offered. And he knows the one cup is a part of the three. So he knows the person that he's doing the offering, potentially. So to me, this suggests that love is coming in for you guys, potentially. I really feel that for some of you guys, that there is new love coming in. It could be somebody from your past, someone who hasn't been around for a long time, because it looks like this person's taken a long journey. Three of Wands, he's just got off the boat. Two of Wands, he's now on foot. If it was Two of Wands and then the Three of Wands, it would show him at a further distance, this person. But it's Three of Wands and then the Two of Wands. So to me, it suggests looking at the picture, this person has just come off a boat, probably saying, ta-ta, 
gets off, walks along down the road on foot. And he's walking back to a decision that they made in the past with the King of Swords. Something that was quite resolute as an energy. This person comes back potentially. Could be the King of Cups. Reproposes something to you. But you, you're kind of like, I don't really, I'm not really sure about that because of what you did in the past potentially. But by the, that's by the by. Whatever this is, I feel that because we've got the Ace of Cups, this is a fresh start that is being offered to you guys in terms of love. Could be in any sphere. You know, you could write to me and say, no, actually, Carol, this is to do with a work situation. As I say, you can always apply my readings to any part of your life, but there is love here. It's got to be because there are so many cup cards. Also, we're seeing messages happening. We've got the Eight of Wands here. So sometimes these cards are known as the Arrows of Love. So Cupid's arrows firing down. So there's information coming to you. There's news. There's uh, some messages that you're going to be receiving, I believe, in February. And I feel that they will be love messages. But again, again, we've got the Four of Swords directly underneath that Four of Cups. Again, it's contemplation, I feel, on your part. I feel that you have been burnt. I feel that you've been hurt. And I feel that you're reluctant just to give something up immediately to this situation here. I really feel that. I do feel a proposal is coming in that you are reluctant about because you've got King of Cups there. There's a man here. He too holds the Ace of Cups. He's holding it. Can you see how he holds one cup? There you go. He's holding that Ace of Cups again. So it's in his hands. And now it's offered. But you're too focused on, I'm not sure about this. You need to take time out because you have Four of Cups and Four of Swords. Four of Swords is often the contemplation card, taking time out, trying to kind of think about stuff, trying to contemplate, do I go there? Do I do I do this? Do I go in for the kill or do I? You need to take time out to think about stuff, to meditate on it, to evaluate. It's a card of evaluation. And if there is... Uh, news or a uh, contact that's initiated because the eight of wands is often a card that uh, of, of, uh, of um, initiation of contact that's that's one it's one of the cards that would represent some sort of contact being made from someone and i feel that as this is underneath the king of cups this is the king of cups initiating some contact but for you guys you're sitting it out for a while you're a bit dodgy about it you're not sure we see here also the Two of Cups. This is love that's coming in. It's got to be for a lot of you guys. Here we go. Two of Cups. To me, you know, with these cards, they are all... I mean, there isn't... We do have one major Arcana card, which is the Emperor card here. That can represent an authoritarian figure. It can represent an uh, establishment, foundation, trying to create something that's quite solid. Um... It can represent blockages even, the Emperor. But I feel that the Two of Cups is uh, sitting here as a pip card. It's not the strongest. It's strong in terms of, I want to ask you out for a date. And I feel that you're going to be asked out for a date because we do have the Page of Cups here. Another message card. Okay. Usually the pages are young kids underneath the age of 21. But they're also messengers messengers okay so i feel that this will be kind of uh sweet little messages that you're going to be receiving in terms of a relationship love in terms of somebody that likes you the page of cups can be the type of person that says actually i really like you but i'm really shy to ask you out that type of thing with the page of cups and we've got the two of cups here it shows that there is something that is reciprocated here you do like this person potentially but you might just want to give them a hard time or you might be kind of like, I'm not sure whether I want to go in for a second round with this person because the last time, you know, he didn't work out or he's been away such, or he or she has been away for such a long time. But I feel whoever this person is, uh, you know, they're in a place of authority. They're quite strong. They're, um, and I feel that they are very much focused on creating some stability with you Scorpio potentially because the final two cards show us the eight of pentacles and also the emperor the emperor looks towards the eight of pentacles he's looking towards creating an even more solid foundation to where he is at the moment the eight of pentacles is a card that is based on materialism creating solid foundations creating uh, achieving your goals 
uh, absolute unwavering focus, devotion. The emperor is someone who's very logical, he's reasoned, but he's also a very solid character, very solid within the within the tarot. And I feel whatever this is, this is about creating something that's absolutely solid and unwavering. And I feel that whoever this person is will be devoted to you. I feel that this person is going to be devoted. I really do feel that because there isn't one bad card in this reading. There is nothing in this reading that says to me that this person can't be trusted. There isn't anything to me that says to, uh, that says to me that this person has uh, other other motives. His motives, his or her motives for me are pure love because we have the Ace of Cups here. So they're starting to really feel something for you or they're starting to really kind of know that they can feel something for you. Alternatively, this could be you guys discovering your own self-love as well, Scorpio, which is probably why you sit it out with the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, because you've come to a place in your life now where you're thinking, you know what, I kind of don't need this and I don't need a, a relationship sort of thing. Maybe the Ace of Pentacles is you guys just focusing on your work and you're ignoring everything else. You're ignoring uh, the office of love. You're ignoring all of this stuff. Maybe you want to kind of uh, get yourself to a place where you are absolutely protected within yourself and where nothing can hurt you and nothing can kind of break down any type of barrier with you. Maybe that's why we've got the Emperor showing here next to the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you guys are sort of, for some of you guys, you're concentrating 100% on your career and all of this stuff is going on around you. Also with the Four of Swords, and I did say that with that general energy of that Two of Wands and King of Wands, and with the Three of Wands behind it, it looked like there was a, a slow progression towards a movement towards something, or it could be a slow progression towards moving to making a decision, okay? The Three of Wands is often the card where we're waiting for our ships to come in. The ship has come in and it's collected this guy and he's either got on the boat or he's got off it. It doesn't really matter which way that turns because he's reached his destination in that he's now with the Two of Wands. If we looked at it the other way around, the two of wands is the guy on foot now. OK, he's got his. It's funny because if you look at that two of wands there, Scorpio, it looks like he's thinking to himself, how do I get to the other side of land? And he's waiting to get on a mode of transport. So he gets on the mode of transport, he gets to the other side and then he takes it off, off by foot. So it looks like this person is looking to trying to get closer and closer and closer to you, potentially. He's trying to get closer to kind of, he's taking action on a decision that he's made. He or she has made, sorry. This is primarily, I feel, a love reading. And as I was saying with those three cards, because we've got the four of swords there, this is somebody who takes time out. And all of a sudden, if you look at the juxtaposition between the eight of wands and the four of swords, this is silence and inactivity. All of a sudden, we get a burst of inactivity here. It's full steam ahead full steam ahead almost like somebody's making up for lost time because we have the eight of wands two fours equals eight so it's almost like somebody needs to make double effort if that makes any sense because there's lost time here they want to make up for inactivity or something like that and it's for me it just looks like this person is so so focused so so focused on being the stable person that they should have been to you in the first place. This is what I'm getting from the reading anyway. This is what I feel. So just to sum up this reading, uh, Scorpio, I do feel that there is love coming in for you. This could uh, this could very well be a new person. But I also feel it could definitely be somebody who hasn't been around for a long time. Just by the general energy I'm looking at. The Three of Wands, Two of Wands, and then King of Swords. Mm. Somebody who has been so far away for a long time and now moves towards resolution. King of Swords is often a card of resolution. So they've moved towards making a decision. And that decision is that they want to offer love because we have the love cards in the centre of the reading. And this person potentially is very focused, very focused. The King of Cups can also be a card of friendship. Okay. So this could very well be a friend who wants to offer you love. And maybe with the four of cups, with those three cups of standings, for some of you guys, you might be thinking, I don't really want to rock the boat. We've got a good friendship here. Do I want to turn this into something else? Okay. I'm just looking at the three of wands. Three of wands is expansion. It's groups. It's community. Two of wands is more intimate. So again, could be turning... What is a friendship? What is 
a community, a communal type of thing into something much more intimate. Into a, a, a solid partnership. There's a decision being made here, I feel. And I do feel it's to do with love. For some of you guys, it could be a new career coming in. Because the Eight of Wands can sometimes refer to lots of news in terms of work. Perhaps after a time of inactivity with the Four of Swords. And then suddenly we've got the Eight of Pentacles. New job. New learning. A negotiation potentially with the Two of Cups. A page of Cups and very good messages coming in. The Emperor can be an establishment. All sorts of ways that you can look at this reading. It's wonderful. It's a really good reading for February. This can be in any area, as I say, of your life, uh, Scorpio. But I do feel there is new love coming in for you guys. Either with somebody new or with somebody who has not been in your life for such a long time. New job potentially for some of you guys. Because we do have this Eight of Pentacles here and we do have the Eight of Wands. There has been a period of inactivity with the Four of Swords. The Emperor could indeed be a boss. Somebody who oversees the whole project or the whole operation. Negotiation with that Two of Cups just above the Eight of Pentacles. Very, very good reading. It's new. There's new, some good stuff coming in for you, Scorpio, in February. So keep your eyes open to it. Also, the Four of Cups can sometimes mean keep your eyes open. You're sleeping. Sometimes your phone might be off and you're getting a multitude of calls come in from a new job and you're not hearing them. And then you turn your phone on four or five days later and the job's gone because you didn't collect the call. OK, so I'm not telling you to kind of like be like, oh, man, I wonder if it's that man on the road there that's meant to come over to me and we're meant to start a relationship or I'm not. I'm going to sit next to my phone and, and, and check if, uh, if Brian's going to call me back. I haven't heard from him in six years, so I'm just going to keep my phone on and I'm going to keep checking. It's not like that at all. It's just being open, allowing yourself to be open to the possibilities. OK, but it's not like I'm going to. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for Brian to call. He hasn't called me in 10 years, but he might call. It's nothing like that. If somebody ain't called you in 10 years, darling, believe me, they probably won't be calling you at all, to be honest with you. But what I'm saying is, is it, this is this is kind of like a recent thing, kind of like maybe the last six, seven, eight, nine, potentially months, I would say. Or it could be even be three months. Three of Wands. Three reduced down to two and then it's following through to the king of swords some decision finally somebody makes a decision but they've been taking their time and they've held themselves back for a long time i'm not talking 10 years okay so i don't want anybody saying i've been waiting for blah blah for 10 20 years of my life if you're waiting for someone for 20 years guys seriously they're probably not coming back really you know i'm talking about kind of six months or so something like that Okay, beautiful reading, really lovely cards, and I'm so happy with that reading for you, Scorpio. I'm going to see you on your love readings very soon. I'm just devising those at the moment. I've got loads of other readings to put up. It is uh, loads and loads to do on the channel, but it's got to be done because everybody's got to get satisfied. Uh, and I'll speak to you guys really soon. Take care, my darlings. Bye-bye.